Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. Welcome back also to CC, the test server for EVE Online because I wanted to take a look at the drone changes that are coming uh, to the game. Unfortunately, it looks like they are not implemented just yet. So it's not like I can test the aggression changes that CCP uh, has planned for, uh, for the drones, but I can take a, a quick look at it and of course talk a little bit about these changes. So basically uh, what's going to change is that when NPCs attack you, your drones will no longer automatically uh, engage the, those NPC targets. That will only work against players. So if we go to a belt where's a, where there's a couple of rats, what you always did have to do uh, is drop your drones before you were actually attacked by these targets. So right now we're in here, we get a couple of rats at like 50 kilometers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my drones and uh, the way it works at the moment is that once these guys actually spot me, let's also maybe stop hiding all brackets like that. Um, they are going to, they're not targeting me. And then once they actually fire at me and do the first bit of damage or even attempted damage, I think it is, then my drones uh, will automatically, so here we go, we get it, Rear uh, Admiral misses me completely and my drones immediately engage that Rear Admiral. So that will no longer work. Uh, this was super handy of course, especially because they sort of remembered that aggression uh, and a subsequent, um, no, uh, actually no, subsequent spawns also still needed to target something. Um, before let's see if i can uh one shot some of these guys maybe at 17 that's pretty much on my optimal yes i can uh awesome nightmare uh and then at 12 we're probably gonna have some more trouble let's see here well we're still hitting him pretty well so there comes the action uh but but this will no longer be possible you will always have to give your drones the uh the command uh, to uh, to attack the target of your choice now personally when it comes to drone ships i don't necessarily oh, and these guys are too close uh, so i don't ne necessarily uh mind it that much because i tend to do that decently often anyways you can see now uh, we're in a situation where the fast rats uh, have uh, approached me too quickly and my guns can't track them anymore so if i would try to target at him i just i one shot him by accident <laughs> that does happen but let's say that i, I really can't uh, hit this guy anymore then i will need to uh, use my drones to do that and i kind of like that you just click on them and then engage target is um, on, on the quick menu up there so i'm just going to send two drones out on that serpentis artillery they're going to disengage and they are going to uh, to go after him um, that's the way I tend to like uh, decide best drones for the best uh, for the best targets and uh, and things like that. In the meantime, I should probably use some of my uh, laser power against that Serpentis rear admiral as well. Uh, the only difference really is that these drones will no longer uh, automatically engage once you have been targeted by NPCs. Not that big of a deal uh, in and of itself, I think. So we've got these rats done. If I'm not mistaken, the next belt was empty. Uh, we can still go to another one. Asteroid belt warp and then something that i want to show you guys here as well when you warp too early look at that stop and recall drones there is a new warning in the drones window itself and was that i was actually I, I clicked on that and I was already gone. Damn. <laughs> so there is a warning window, apparently, uh, when you warp off uh, with your drones still uh, on the field, which is going to be pretty handy. But looked like it was like a little bit too fast for me to actually do anything. And here we, we are in trouble again. We've got, we've got rats here uh, once again. This time they may even be a little bit too close to me. So let's uh, actually show you guys uh, the, uh, something that they did. Uh, with, uh, with the current behavior as well is once these targets actually engage you so I'm actually gonna like target some of these guys we're gonna start firing at them I want them to engage me and then you would drop drones then it no longer works they don't just keep aggroing uh, stuff that has uh, already started shooting at you after you deploy them so again not that big of a change a little bit of a quality of life loss uh, for instance in the situation where uh, you know you would just drop your drones in an anomaly and, and do something else like perhaps um, do a little bit of um, do a little bit of, of exploration of probing or something like that but overall uh, it's not that big of a deal and now you can see everyone uh, is targeting me and i'm completely red boxed if i drop my acolytes now let's do that 
they can fire at me they're not going to uh, attack anyone so it's pretty much always been the case that in a situation like this when you're quickly targeted man it does look absolutely amazing with all of that oh blaster fire on my shield that looks so freaking cool um so uh, this this would this would happen quite often um, that uh, that I would have my drones out and that actually they would not automatically target anything. And so the best way that I have always found to spread them out is I do like to give them that F command, and then uh, you wanna you wanna oh actually wanna see ah damn it we're not in the new mode just yet. I kind of wanted to see if they would. Um, automatically switch but they will of course in this case uh, that's something that we'll have to see how will they behave after the change of course will they just keep going after new targets or will you always have to give uh, that commander for instance in this situation would the three drones that have just destroyed that one rat would they automatically go to another target or not and then another one that i'm wondering is will they also follow uh, like a beam order right i i, I fire another um another high slot uh, at the target uh, that has always also uh, told the, uh, the the drones to go and engage them so let's let's do a return to drone bay here again and let's actually go back to asteroid belt 2 i think it was all aboard and see if we can't reconnect to our uh, medium drones that we left behind there uh, but yeah, unfortunately, tests uh, not really possible on CC just yet. And so the minutia of it, it could still be important. As I've said, uh, you've, you've got five targets. Uh, you've sent all of them on one of them. And then you choose two priorities, for instance. All right, couple drones on that one. When those three first ones that are still left behind on the first attack command, they destroy uh, a target, what will they do? It could mean that, that you're, you'll be dealing with a lot more management uh, for the drones in that way. But what I still think will always work is once you start to fire at something, that all drones that are not doing anything uh, will go for that target. So I think it's here that you can right click, yeah, reconnect to lost drones. There we go. Hammerheads are back and available. They're in fact returning right away. And I kind of want to take a look at that window again. They're just returning and idling. Let's return them to drone bay. All right, let's drop them off again. Let's choose another belt. Hope that there are some rats in there. Let's just do a warp within zero. There's the warning. Yep, stop and recall drones. Oh, um. Okay, maybe I, I clicked like a little bit too quickly last time, but that just worked. Uh, it's going to be handy, although it's going to be a little bit jarring, I think, also for, uh, for newer players. But I think uh, when it's, once you've had this happen, like for the first time, there we go. Oh, man, they, they were move, all moving back and I thought for a second I was warping off again. Uh, let's choose that belt again, do warp it in zero. There's the pop-up and we are back in okay well very handy so i think that that will be nice let's move into that game uh into that belt for real then and uh, show you guys try to show you guys that that final behavior there so when you're too late to drop what would always work is uh, put your weapons on a rat and then they would automatically start attacking that rat that is a behavior that I kind of think will still work. I'm not 100% sure, of course, uh, but overall, yeah, an understandable change, I think. And and my dream, honestly, is still that they would also change this a little bit. Uh, if you want drones to be uh, more usable, more uh, intuitive for newer players as well, I think basically high, a high slot like module that that gives those commands. Uh, but then you may just lose, uh, right? If it's always the five drones, then you may just lo lose that versatility, of course. Um, so I'm not really sure how to fix all of it. Um, but uh, yeah, personally, I'm really used to this, right? Drone bay like this, I really don't mind. I can have an Ishtar, we can have like, what is it, 25 drones in there or something like that. And I know exactly, all right, I'm gonna deploy this. We're gonna uh, tell this drone to attack that target, etc., etc. Just stay on top of it. It's, it's, it's gameplay, it's management, but I can understand that for, for newer players, it can sometimes be pretty damn annoying. So here we go again, uh, we get some more rats. And so this time the aim is going to be 
uh, deploy the drones too late so that they don't attack something then use my missiles and then you'll see that they will engage those guys as well so i actually do need to target something like this so uh, i'll also take a look at so yellow box yellow box uh, still nope still one of them that still has to target me i think so i'll drop it now since we're still yellow boxed let's see if they ever decide to attack me or, or to to attack so no you can see again all uh, rats have targeted me my drones are not going to do anything but what has always worked is all right i ink i put my lasers on the defender and you can see that the drones have started to engage that defender and so i'm gonna assume here that that will always still work and so as long as you're also attacking something else uh, whether it is with weapons or with e-war uh, that the drones will chase after that one and then of course what we don't know is this behavior that we see right here these drones have just destroyed their first target will they automatically go onto something else that has been targeted or will that always require an f command basically for you to tell okay go after uh, that drone uh, there that could be a big change right that could be a very big change in behavior sometimes i do basically count on the drones to um to add, automatically go after a rat uh, on the other hand sometimes they also do their own thing and and start to go to different targets when i don't want them to so having that full management also does give you that full control you will always know exactly what the drones are doing since you have given those commands and uh, we're just gonna take care of this <laughs> this final rat that really couldn't hit the broad side of a barn because he is missing almost every single shot despite the fact that he's super close now i'll be missing as well i think but uh, oh no actually look at that nice laser damage application and there goes that final rat so uh this is the current state of the drones um and uh, with the update, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know if they'll keep going after a next target uh, or if, uh, if that's also always going to require an extra input for us. That could make it a little bit more annoying. But as I've said, there's an upside as well. Sometimes the drones do just do their own thing, start to go off on different targets, sometimes even targets very far away, which can be quite annoying if then you need to get out of dodge or, or something like that. Uh, so there's definitely advantages to be had there as well. And a final thing that I wanted to mention as well, uh, it's going to be a lot more important then in the new state as well, is that uh, shortcuts. So if you go for shortcuts, navigation, then down here somewhere, I usually set it to D, uh, select next target. That's the shortcut that allows you to very quickly, with just one press of the button, uh, choose another active target within all of the rats, for instance, that you have targeted yourself uh, while, while you're doing ratting, PVE, exploration, and all of that good stuff. So that's always in shortcuts, navigation, and then down here you will find select next target you can also do select previous target if you want to be able to browse uh, browse towards both sides basically uh, of your target list and uh, there you go that's uh, an extra cc video i was kind of hoping to see how it worked and so i could test it that was not the case just yet but uh, a little bit of like a warning ccp is planning to change the aggression of drones on npcs and uh, it's pretty important to know exactly what's going on, I think, uh, so that we don't get surprised and don't park our ship in an anomaly, think it's going to be a run, and then half an hour later still be stuck there. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.